Emergency system broadcast from the Phantom Fact Society Network on a Thursday night. We have May with us. I am Corey Hussein, broadcasting live from a Chinese-made microphone using government spyware high atop Sioux Nation. Uh, here with um, um, Dick Broom. You gonna make me say Dick Broom? Dang it, that was a good yeah. intro too. I killed that intro. You did. It was nice. It was nice. We got a we got a show today. Uh, a bunch of crazy stuff going on, right? Uh, we have I don't know. It, it seems like distractions abound in every direction right now, and I feel like it's just going to continue to get worse. So you know, of course. You come to Phantom Facts. We haven't broadcasted. Enjoyed the New Year's. Had to take care of the kids. Uh, you know, we all have lives. But we're back now. We're back from our winter vacation, uh, which is Nordic tradition. You know, the Slavs and the Nords get a month off in the winter time. Well deserved. Nobody bats an eye. But no, not in South Dakota. Minus fifty. You. Uh, I don't want to get. I don't get into it. Already, um, we want good. Put flow. some layers on. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're drinking mead and get anyway. Um, how you been, May? Who busy? I mean, we we had that little winter blur come through, and I mean, we were off for a while for work, and now just getting back into it, and you know, just same old, same old. Uh, how have you been mentally with what's going on in the news? Like what has been your main focus these last four weeks? Ooh. Uh, I'm so intense. I feel like Larry King, tell me. I mean, to be honest, I, I've been kind of just checked out. I mean, yeah. I know that's probably not the answer you were wanting or looking for. No, but I, I, You got college football that happened, yep. right? Yep. And you know what? I get it. It's a Roman sport. They throw bread to the masses. I get it. I get it's used as a distraction, but God damn it. There are 50 million distractions in American culture right now. I, I pick one and that happens to be football. You yeah. Know? And then after, after football season, I get back into like, Oh, okay. So we've got uh, 8 million people coming through the border. That's interesting. Yeah. We've they got Texas to telling me. Biden to shove it. We got, well, we got the, you know, Texas football getting shoved around. And then on top of that, 8 million people have come across the board. I think that's low, low guesstimations. Yeah, probably. Um, it's probably but, way uh, higher. Well, it's, it's so and I don't know if you uh, know about the No Agenda show. It's a great podcast. A lot of outside information that's brought in. And, um, and well, before we get into it, it's nice to see your face too, Sunshine. Thanks for the comments right there. Um, sunshine. Uh, we got, uh, okay. So what's going on right now in, I forget what airport it is, but when you're studying the logistics of planes coming into an airport and leaving an airport. Yep. Uh, have you heard about this, May? Yeah. I think I know where you're going with going. Well, feel free to interrupt me if I. The, the like, one with the immigrants all stayed in the, the airport. Well, no, it's not sleeping everywhere. But there's there there's um now I'm gonna get the number wrong. I think it was, 50, no, it was okay. Over one quarter, fifty thousand extra planes left versus then what people came back. Oh, no. So that means there is over a three month period um of this year, or of last year. I'm sorry, of last year. Uh, there was a uh, 50,000 people on average leaving that area. So they're getting all these people are getting shipped out to different areas. You see people in New York crying about it. Yep. I don't, I mean, listen, I get, I get, I, I don't get it. I want to, I want to take, you know, I want to take the middle road, you know, obviously not all of these people uh, have great living conditions. And so, like, you don't want them to suffer. 
you know you're a human after all but at the same time it's like i did see i think it was fox news the post i can't i came across it on on x and it said that something about the uh that immigrants coming into the United States were complaining about how cold it's been lately. <laughs> They're like, this is not the American dream. This is not the American dream. No, there is some. Okay. So I've, I've got some videos I want to share with you because there's some interesting stuff going on. Uh, uh, this one's here on Instagram. Someone getting interviewed, uh, walking in the border. Oh, this guy. Yeah. We're here in America. I mean, they're about to find out where your country you're from. Are you going to take where I'm from uh, by force? No. So I will right. not take you, where I'm from. So these are, are the people that these, are the people, these no. are the people that question. These are the people that are breaking Why, into your country, you folks. Ask me, I answer to you. What what he says? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. These are the people right here. That kind of attitude. Right, let me uh, educate you. It's a weapon. I'm not afraid. I'm so afraid. Here's the thing. As an inherent rule breaker myself sort of not really uh but i side with the underdog like do i like this no do i respect the people that are taking advantage of it i, I mean yes yes you gotta give a little hat tip i guess to it. i mean it's, that's not easy stuff you know that's not easy to do i mean that's a i mean and these people aren't coming from mexico they're coming from all over all well over. And you you saw the clips on who they they identified that man, like no, no, yeah that that guy's a like a damn it um he's like a high ranking terrorist um dude like he's he's no it's supposedly he's like someone not to joke with he just didn't blend it in with the people. I'm going to find it while we're talking because okay. it was like, and I hear, so here's my problem is like, I do believe, I don't, I don't know. I mean, like the internet's a crazy thing right now too. So like, is that really what's going on? Or huh, I mean, if it is man, what, what is the, uh, what is the goal here? Well, a lot of people, different sides of the argument. Okay. While you're figuring out who this guy is, um, just like go on Twitter. There's some interesting stuff here going on with what uh, the Supreme Court has had with uh, Texas. And really what's going on is there is this little little bitch battle going on. Excuse the, excuse the French, but that's honestly what's going on. It's a bunch of six-year-olds having temper tantrums with each other. And then they have to go to mommy and daddy at SCOTUS. And try to get it, you know, emergency injunctions put in place, and uh, it's absolutely crazy. Oh, hey, uh, hey guys, this is uh, I follow you can burp. Thank you, thank you for the follow button. Appreciate it. Um, May, what are you looking at? You, I'm you're... trying to find out who the guy is because it's bugging the shit out of me. He's what is he like? Where is he? what country? Do you remember what country he's from? No, I don't. That's okay. all right. Um, um, I mean, I, I, I play a little bit. Anyways, it'll come to me. I'll find it. And I'll randomly. I, oh, that's I, frustrating. Sorry. No, that's all fine. I appreciate the dead air. Um, <laughs> Listen, man, I can only fill in so much. I know, no. I know. <laughs> have you gone on? I mean, have you gone on Twitter and just sort of seen? Twitter is the best place to see video. Yeah, of what's going on. Uh, X, excuse me, X is the best place. Really, honestly, if you want to see uh, what's uh, now also full of fake crap in there so you have to yeah. be you know you gotta be you gotta hear it from a lot of different angles um as to what's going on uh like i for example here i got uh cbs or if here's fox right let's get fox's view on uh the supreme court ruling that the federal government has a right to have access to their own border the law was applied and executed the same laws trump had the same this is so. This is Marco Rubio, in case people don't know, he's a Republican senator. 
um, uh, on a fun note, also believed to be uh, gay. So, of course, oh. yeah. Did you know this about Margaret? No, Margaret? nope, sure didn't. Oh, you got to go while while we're playing. Was he the was he the legal aide that got caught with the sex? No. Sex? <laughs> <laughs> he's a little more classy yeah. than that you know g- while i'm playing this video yeah you need to go on your phone and google um marco rubio pictures with guys okay. and, uh, and 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 uh, uh from like when he was in college and, and you'll be like oh, okay man, I, he may not be like full on he might swing the bat both ways i don't know um it's worth it's worth well, a google all, image search though do, like this is him five. and why you're doing that well just what's what he's rambling on about is how um they need to stop illegal immigration coming in from the border of course republican viewpoint i think for um, not just republican majority of people sort of think eight million people is excessive could be wrong um i i would say like maybe two-thirds of americans think yeah maybe not asylum process is being abused it's being broken it has to be completely reformed we got to get rid of this parole program which is also being abused i think it's like a 300 percent increase uh, over how any other president has used it in the past all those things are legitimate and they should be fixed the problem is this the laws have to be executed by the executive branch and we already have laws on the books right now i mean the laws have not changed from the time trump was president to the time biden became president what changed was the way the law was applied and executed the same laws trump had the same laws as biden but trump did not allow people and discourage people. why is his voice breaking i don't know you notice that is he telling lies what do you think may what do you, i mean like obviously this is a very divisive issue right republicans think close the border down throw barbed wire with spinning circular saw blades they it's not they don't really spin they sort of spin if you hit them but uh install all this stuff meanwhile the democrats are like these are people that need help and you know and i mean what's what do you think what 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 do you gotta do here um i would the easy answer is find the in between but i mean texas has got to do what texas got to do like you got to protect your own borders when when a crazy amount of people are coming into it uninvited and there's no real balance checks and balances in place. You got to protect it. You're getting flooded. Your people in your state that look for your protection are, you know, I mean, they're in harm's way now with all these people coming willy nilly free gilly. I mean, it's, it is, it is a hot mess. So I mean, good on Texas, you know, but there's got to be, you know, I mean, they're not stupid. They know that, you know, that the United States is a wide open thing. You can come on in now and, and nothing's going to come of it. You're going to get a, a, a bunch of cash. They a say phone. they're putting their court dates out to like 2030. Yeah. And hoping that they'll answer the phone when they call. You know, it's like, come on. So it's I horrible. don't blame them. I mean, I think, well, what yeah. would you do, though, if you lived down there and you had just just who knows what type of people coming over the border and then, you know, the crime shoots up, kids get missing, your fucking wife or daughter gets, you know, whatever. Like, it's just, you know, like, I, I don't I don't like it. It makes you unsafe. It makes you paranoid in a sense where. You know, you don't know who that is. You don't know what's going on. I mean, that can go for that can go for, you know, people coming in illegally to your neighbor. I mean, it's kind of a broad thing, but I, they had to put a stop to it. It was getting out of hand. It was getting to the point where, sorry, but no, like they couldn't. You know, it, they couldn't get them out of there fast enough in buses to go to New York and New Jersey and you know wherever else they were sending them. Well, and they, I mean, they just can't afford it anymore. No, you know what I mean, like it, it's, it's like they're kicking kids out of schools. Yeah. And now, granted, it was a blizzard. You know, do you really want a bunch of dead people on your street because they froze to death? No, mm-hmm. I don't think you want that either. 
I don't think, you know, no one wants to see that. I think we're more upset with the situation. It's been allowed yeah. to get to that point where we have to decide whether kids have to get kicked out of schools, you know, for, uh, for a while. So homeless people uh, can live there. That's, I mean, they're homeless. You know, they're hundreds of homeless people. Yeah. But I mean, they're, I don't know. I mean, I get if they if they would have done it the right way and, and the immigration, you know, all that, like, I, you know, you'd probably look at it a little differently. But, you know, it's just tough. I, it, it's just such a weird spot. It's because, like, we cater to, to all of this, but we shit on our veterans. We shit on all this other stuff going on in the world. But yet we're so, so just what can we do to help with people that, who knows what interest they do have coming in here? You know, are they a threat? Are they not a threat? Are they going to, you know, make this place better than they found it or, or, or what, you know, and then to get, you know, to remove the children from, you know, their establishment of growth and development to house people. I don't know. It's, it's one of those things. Here, here's uh, a, Here's an interesting thought I have on it. Is it politically motivated? Or I think it all is, isn't it? Here, here's my issue. I live in the Midwest. I know the amount of need there are for migrant workers. Yeah. And I see a lot of politicians tr turn a blind eye when push comes to shove about illegal immigration. Because they know you can't get anyone to do that type of work for no. that amount of pay. Very true. And so there is, and, and who are those people? Those are the people that are supposedly mega Trumpers, uh, right wing Republicans, these guys who, you know, are yelling right now about what's going on. Meanwhile, they know at least four guys in their community that hire migrant workers. You know, well, I, at the end of the day, it's all about the money, right? Like that's going to save you money. Yeah. It, you know, the negative side of it is that, but it's cheap labor help puts more money in your pocket at the end of the day. If, the, if you're a businessman, labor's one of the most expensive things out there. And if you can get it for dirt cheap, you know, the rich get richer. Cause you can't, like you said, you can't find people. People don't want to do that kind of work, you know, and, and it's not the poo poo on the, the, the immigrants that come over here and, Oh, well, all we do is bring them over here so they could shingle roofs and build, fr you know, frame out houses and all this. That's yada yada. I mean, that's what well, they yeah, do. Exactly. Houses. I was in you construction know. in Colorado Springs, electricians, plumbers, were the only tradesmen who weren't crazy. HVAC were the uh, meth addicts. And then uh, no other trade spoke English. Yeah. No other trade spoke It's English. almost like there's a playbook down there. You know, it's like, hey, this is what you can do when you get up here. Read it. Pick a chapter. Stick to it. And, you know, it'll what shake out. The, what about the cleaning staff for uh, uh, BPI? Uh, and remember, we did a story on that uh, a year ago where they caught all those underage kids cleaning all the butchery equipment at night on the third shift. Yeah. Give them underage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh but they're going to complain about the border and 8 million people crossing. They're licking their chops right now, May. That's why yeah. they keep bringing it up. Here comes the workforce. Here comes the workforce because we know we can't keep up with what the American dream is. For wow. uh, people who were born here, had their you know third, fourth, fifth, and beyond generations who know what America's supposed, how it's supposed to operate. We need to bring in a new generation, and this generation is very used. What what do they all have in common from all their different nationalities? They're all used to high abuse from their government. So yeah. what this this is the best government they've ever been on. Yeah. Oh sure, because it pays them more. It takes care of them a little better. Yes. You get health care. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. 
you could is, fit you could fit 15 in a house and you're not on top of each other don't pretend that you know it, Fox News, CBS, NBC, they all put a, you know, there is, you know, everyone's thrilled about it. You know, the restaurants in the cities are thrilled about it. Uh, and this is not like to be racist, like, but this is how it works is like, uh, you know, there has, it, since COVID, the amount of people's desire to work has, is in the shitter. It is a side effect they never expected from COVID. All the other stuff put aside, I don't think they ever expected that shutting everything down and, you know, and resetting everything and then bringing people back in slowly would affect the workforce. I think that's what they wanted, though. I think they wanted, they, I don't think they wanted it to the extent it has gotten, but they wanted everyone feeding out of Papa, you know, Biden's hand, you know, or the government, whoever the fuck it would have been, you know, it's, it's, I don't, but I, I, I don't think they had it thought out where it was going to, it was going to be like this, you know, where, you know, there are some people, I'm sure there are large groups that still take the handouts, but there's also a large flip on the other side that figured out how to make money, how to get rich, how to do things. New consolidation. You know, it was a huge yes. consolidation of power. And it was, you know, it, and what I think psychologically, it's a cruel thing to tell someone that their job that they do to support their family is an essential. Oh, yeah. Think, of, think about the psychological effect that must have had on the people that were sustaining their lives in the, you know, different um uh, restaurant businesses and you know uh, other industries i remember hearing commercials for a, a a dry cleaner in colorado springs and the guy was begging people to come to his shop he said we didn't close during covid because we're essential because we sanitized everything you know and i just thought man that this guy this poor guy you know his you know has no business all of a sudden you <laughs> like no one's coming to get anything dry clean so he's you know and i mean and that was at least he had a pitch, you know, yeah. like what were the people that were running, you know, running chilies and, you know, running Applebee's and, you know, well, what about them? Those big companies, I don't think cared. I don't I think they took it on the chin and they probably got kickbacks or probably got, you know, um, they didn't hurt. But like the local bakeries, the yes. pizzerias, the sandwich shops, the coffee shops, the stuff that that was as popular but not as big chained those people took it in the fucking shorts and, and they were considered not essential right you know i mean those small shops you know and some of those are generational you have been passed down for a couple generations and now to be told that your entire family line's life of work is i don't know man like it would there is some weird stuff that came out of it. And one of the thing was a desire to go back to work for people that did that to you in the first place. And, and now, you know, who's going to, who's, who's going to do the cleaning and who's going to maintain the appearance of this, you know, Disney world delusion. Well, we have that mindset too, is, is, you know, growing up here, being from here, you're like, you know, when someone comes across to to you oh it's twelve dollars an hour i'm above that twelve dollars an hour like i'm not doing that it's not do you it's, look at me no it's not that you're above it it's not that you're above it it's that like how do you live off of it how do you live off of 12 oh so you shift the mindset yeah but how, how do you, they live off of it who the people that take that the the I the mean, people they, they bring into the country the people all, that come into this country they live in, you know, squalor houses and squalor and are willing to accept lower conditions than what we've, you know, we're, we expect at least two bathrooms, may, you know, one is a huge sacrifice, especially you got a family and then, you know, I mean, you got to have a vehicle to transport the kids. If you want the kids to be successful in the world, you got to be able to bus them around to different events. You got to be able to afford to take them to things. So you got to work extra time to spend, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like you get caught yeah. up in the cycle of what. But the knock on I hear a lot of is, is how are you, why are you willing to take care of these 
illegal immigrants that come into the United States, give them money, give them resources, give them housing, give them vehicles, but yet single mothers that struggle or veterans or just American citizens in general that fucking can't cut it, can't make it, they have to give up everything just for the help because you're you're considered high class. You can't, nope, you don't qualify for that. Sorry. You work 22 hours. Like, you know, you all the hoops and hoops that you have to jump through for, you know, an Amer for, you know, yes. for a citizen no. and then and, and an immigrant or an illegal immigrant that comes in. And, you know, so I see the divide there. It's like, well, and then what do they do? They go buy an Escalade on, on 30s and, and, you know, do willy nilly. But also on the other side, the government has tried to help American citizens and they've abused it. They've abused it and abused it. So it's like, you, you know, it's it's that double edged sword, you know, like. I don't know, it's just tough. It's it's I'm thankful that I, I'm, I haven't been in that situation. I'm not in that situation, but it's like, you know, like. You could you could sit there, close your eyes, and, and think about both sides, and and you'd be torn because you you'd feel yourself just swaying back and forth because you would agree with this and then you agree with that, and it's you know. And, I don't and know. um, it's gotten to a point, May, where like obviously we can't stop immigration. No, obviously we're not going to strap up and get down there and protect the border. Um, as a, I wonder if we would get like a Texas foreign legionnaire badge, you know, like, like a foreign legion, you know, for, but for Texas, like a boy scout badge. No, you remember like when the French foreign legion, when like Americans would go over and fight in the French wars or, you know, you go over and fight in a, in a, in a war that wasn't for your country. So you were a foreign legion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I get you. yeah. Right. Yeah. So like, yeah. Get you a Texas one. <laughs> yeah, Texas one. What would it be like? A cowboy hat? It'd definitely be a cow. Some some it'd be a boot with spurs. It's, it's, it'd be big. It'd be a buckle. It'd yeah, definitely it be would be. Buckle. It'd be a buckle. A big old one that just covers your fucking ball sack to your nipples. Just a big old thing. <laughs> uh, Sunshine says she's been through with all of this bullshit. Um. I have lived it, and you are not wrong, May. I I just want you know be careful when like I don't want to talk crap about the people. No. I've never been in that situation. I I definitely don't want to talk. I want to talk crap about the you know the system is broken as fuck. It, it's broken. All of it's all of it is all it's, of it's, it's broken. It's, it's not. It's not good. We, but, I think you're having a slow realization that we are in a fascist oligarchy. You know, a, a falorki. I don't know how. Can you? Put, I don't know. We'll focus. Falorki. Falorki. Uh, we could do better. Um. Anyway, I'm going to get sidetracked by that. That's what we are. We are ruled by corporations. We are ruled 100%. by corporations and HR policies. And there is not a moment I don't watch one of those things and feel like I'm in a horrible business meeting. Yeah. You know how much hard work it is to sit through some of those Senate hearings? Game manages up. I be defer to the da da You know, sir, your minutes are up. You ever watch the Canadians uh, argue in their parliament or the I British? I bet, oh, it's, I bet it's classic. It's no, it's gold, dude. So, how it's set up is it's like it's like a room that's like 20 feet wide, and then like all the chairs stack way up high. Right. But so like you can see everyone's chest and like so their head is where your chest would be in the row in front of you. Right. So oh, OK. Got a great view. Everyone's got a great view. Right. And then so and each side of the party sits on one side. Right. And uh, do you want me just to show you? I guess we are. That's like stadium know, seating and you just yell back and forth at each other. It's uh, it's uh, it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, to be honest. I'm going to pull it up. So fill up some time here, buddy. My okay. poppy needs to work. No, I just, I mean, you know, with with all this that goes on and everything, it's it's um, 
It's not a You're Republican not. Democrat thing, dude. It's not. You got no. people have to stop thinking that it's a Republican um, Democrat um, issue. It is not. If you are a Republican and you think your side is against illegal immigration, you are being fooled. Yes. Yeah. You're being fooled. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's, you know, that's, and that's the thing about, you know, just, you almost at this point, it's just like you, you put your blinders on. I mean, I, it's so hard because I, you, like, you get wrapped up in all this mess and then it, it, if it affects you mentally, and then, it, and then you don't want it to creep into your life, into your work, into your family, you know. But also, you, you, like, I probably need to do a better job of being aware of what's going on. But on the other hand, like, I could really give a fuck less. Like, I'm just going to take care of the family, take care of what we have going on, and and make sure that my kids, you know, grow up okay. The uh, house and home is taken care of, and and so be it. Like. I know it's 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 it might be selfish to to do that way, and that's maybe that's probably how they want you, really too, is to to focus on everything else but what they're doing. Let them do them. You do you. You're too and, tiny. You're tiny. Yeah. Tiny Tim May. Tiny Tim yeah. May. And and I'm tiny ginger, bottom, and yeah. uh, that's you know. But it's not. That's not true. I really don't believe that's true. And I'll, I'll give you a reason why. Like uh, I am a member of the union. I don't know how much I have to keep quiet, but I will say this: as I talk uh, to different people in the field, I hear a vastly different view of, um, like, political beliefs and concerns. Not just like for right Republican views, but like actual concerns. Um, for what's going on in South Dakota, you know, and there, you know, the rampant, the rampant corruption that's being done here. But I did. Really? I Oh, yes. Yeah. Christy Nome is is in her administration um, is one of them is one of the most corrupt things I've ever seen. It's like a straight out of Yellowstone type of ranch being around right now. And it's, you know, it's whatever, you know, like. It, but it, she's easy on the eyes, so it just kind of goes that not way. Not even really. Not even. I don't know what Corey Lewandowski thought he saw in her. But, like, I, I don't even think. No. Like, she needs that much hair to cover up a lot of de defections in her face. I'm just saying, from a camera point of view, Donald Trump is not going to pick Christy No as a VP. Okay? So no. the, just people of South Dakota, stop it. It's not going to happen. What what are the talks of of um, VP Nikki Haley being the B the VP? No, I, there's no way I see those two nope. coexisting. No, nope. I want to do think something I, before we go into that, real quick. And this this comment by Sunshine, I love you, Sunshine, but broken beyond repair. Uh, capital marks on the beyond in that statement, and I uh, I I firmly disagree with that. It, nothing is broken beyond repair. Uh, I feel like things, um, do you expect things to change overnight? No. Will they change over 10 years? Maybe. 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 And why is it maybe? Because nothing is broken beyond repair. Nothing. And if you have kids that are growing up in this nonsense, there will be an eventual culture shock. This all falls with all other ideologies. They rise and ebb and flow. Uh, like right now, I mean, you already start to see it start to flow the other way. Um, and then it will get worse on the other side. And and then it will swing back and get worse on the other side. But, but and I think there is something where if you treat people with kindness and... Uh, you know, like with a genuine concern for a, an individual human that you can look past, you know, like you see, and I, you know, it's the whole like, uh, you know, you see someone stuck in snow, you help push them out. Um, you know, if it's an old man, you know, it doesn't matter if the old man voted for Biden or, you know, has a, you know, a Biden Harris sticker on his vehicle, you know, maybe if he's young and stuck in the snow, you let him stay there. 
because yeah. he's an idiot. But if he's an old man stuck in the snow, you know, shoveling himself out, you help the man out, you know, if you're capable of doing so. Um, you know, like that's, I think that's what changes the whole dynamic of what happens here is, you know, people are people in the end and you can turn them against each other. But I think you're seeing may as people communicate with each other and start to be able to see things happen in real time without a just propagized viewpoint on the matter. Yeah. People are, you know, it's who knows I who knows. In 10 years, it could be completely different. It only took him 10 years to change it this way. You know, honestly, you know, a solid 10 years of straight up propaganda and they were able to swing it this way. But they don't know what beasts they control. And and they've never had to maintain an illusion for um, forever. Yeah, it's it's you know? been windows, periods. It hasn't, yeah. You know, you, you had, if it was if it was like a you know a dictatorship kind of like a you know like like you said they haven't had to control it forever it's just been periods of time it, it's not you know it's not like we're living in what North Korea where it's just been that way for for forever you know you don't know any better you don't know any different. Here, like you say, it's got its peaks and it's got its valleys. It's good, you know, like shit will happen for a little while and it'll shake out and then it'll go. And, you know, you just kind of, you you know, you just go with it. You, you keep your head on a swivel, but you also like, you well, find it, out what matters to you and you grind for that. That's like when you see and these you like die. 19 year old kids that are, you know, talking about how great the Republican Party is and vice versa. You know, you yep. see the 17 year old girls that are talking about how great it, you know, how great Kamala Harris is. I don't, I haven't seen those videos, but I'm sure they exist somewhere with its three views. Um, that's, you know, like, how is that different than Hitler Youth? Like, I don't, you know, like, how is that different? The fact that there's two of them, the fact that you have two Hitler Youth groups instead of just one Hitler Youth group. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, that's what it feels like to me. Like the, the realization should be that the, both of these parties, the core individuals of power uh, want, want the same things. They're buddies. They want the same things, you know, and then they got their little fringe fellas to bicker about stupid crap. You know, this, this court thing, you know, it is the, it has gone past its news cycle and we're on to something else now. And we just had a shooting, a school shooting in Iowa. Yeah. yeah, you did. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I heard it. It was yeah, it was on my timeline for a day, I think, if that. You know, these are things that you know are more important. And that's right? Iowa. Like that's, that's, Iowa. That's... that's Iowa. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna discuss that on Sunday show, by the way. So we're going to get into the details of that. Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, it's Conspiracy Sunday. Uh, this mm-hmm. Sunday. So, so bring will, your tinfoil. Uh, I'll give you a little, just a little tease. All right. Uh, look into the Orlando shooter. That's, uh, that's your little tease for the day. All right. Uh, got another story here for you, buddy. You ready? Okay. Yep. Yeah. The prosecutors bought into this enough to drop her original charge from murder to involuntary manslaughter. Since cameras were not allowed into the court, we were very thankful to Tony Biasati with the Ventura County Star who acted as our eyes and ears for that testimony. But you can only imagine what this testimony was like for Chad's family and Chad's father. Have you heard about this story yet, my friend? Do you know what? Do you know what's going no. on? No. Oh. So, <laughs> weed has claimed its first victim in the oh, world. God. It has mm. happened. It has happened. Uh, I can't. I we'll listen. See where it's happened. But weed has finally killed someone. This woman stabbed her boyfriend a hundred and eight times. Oh. May. I'm gonna try. That's a lot. 
108 times. 108 times. Do we want to hear the argument of what happened? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Was it laced with fentanyl? Like, was it laced with bath salts? Here we go. No, no, notice. Nope, just straight up weed, bud. Straight up ganja. Right? It's uh, all right. I guess uh, you, are you ready? Yep. All right. I got pulled up here and play. Father, Sean O'Melia, who is live with me now. Mr. O'Melia, thank you for being on. And again, I, I, I am so sorry that you're having to not only go through this, the loss of your son, but then also the testimony today. Can't imagine what it's like to be in your shoes. What was that like listening to Ms. Bacher and what she had to say in court? Well, I'll tell you this, Ashley. Again, thank you for having me. It's the whole trial has been exhausting. Right, and today, what was seen yeah. was somebody different. And it wasn't just in her behavior. That's uh, that's the dude she stabbed right there. Mm -hmm. She claims, she claims, I didn't realize this is a, this is an interview with the father. But what she claims, May, is that she was pressured to smoke marijuana. She got high. She went into a psychotic event and proceeded to stab her boyfriend 108 times. I mean, that's a lot. 108 times? 108 times. Weed. What What weed do you have the energy to stab someone 108 times? No. You're good. Maybe twice. Yeah. Maybe three times. And then you're like, ah. Eight would be the max. Where did the other 100 come from? 108 times. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Not not only that, May. Um, do you know what her prison, uh, what her sentence is for this uh, for this crime? Uh, Ten years. It's interesting. Anyone else? Lobo fish. You're welcome. Love uh, love streaming. Nobody else. Okay. Okay. Thirty days probation. Uh, two years probation. Shut the fuck up. What? Two years probation, May. That's all she got was two years for killing someone. It wasn't her fault. Was it what? her? Fault? What? She was in a psychosis. She was in a psychosis. Honestly, honestly, May. If we're being honest, if she was Let's in a be psych honest. If she was okay, thank you, thank you. If we're being honest, which we are right here on Phantom Fact Society, and she was uh, struggling with being forced to smoke marijuana, which triggered the psychosis event, which led to her stabbing her boyfriend 108 times in a psychosis manner. She had just a psychotic episode, no realization or power. Was she? She shouldn't have to do any probation. You know, she shouldn't. She shouldn't. It wasn't her fault. It was the drug's fault. Uh, How about she, you yeah. check her medicine cabinet and see what Big Pharma is shoving down her throat? What, who does that? Two years? Two years of probation? She's going to go pick up trash off the highways? She just killed someone? Uh, Yeah. Well, it's California, so obviously... Oh, God. Okay. Her, yeah, her, you, we didn't lead with that. Obviously, okay. <laughs> her as a woman is... um is more the most powerful testimony that you can have in this world. So, and first of all, Lobo Fish, how dare, how dare you assume she's lying? How dare you? How can she prove? She doesn't need to prove anything. She, the poor woman went through a traumatic event. She was forced to smoke marijuana. I mean, I want her to, I want this story to happen in Ohio, Kentucky. <laughs> Indiana. I want to see like what happens then. <laughs> honestly, what? honestly, you know what? Like, if it wasn't for California, if <laughs> if it wasn't for California, I mean, we would have great stories like this. I think no, you know, it's good news. God damn it! Who's at the front door? <laughs> Who is it? Oh, hey, man. Why do you look so glum? It looks like you could use this sugar news. See? See? Do you feel better now? <laughs> it's the good news! Segment of the week! 
Brought to you by Rob Jackson's Sticky Green. That's uh, Rob Jackson's Sticky Green. Shout out to Rob. Uh, doing well, raising his dogs, getting his uh, one puppy. Uh, he's a uh, brainer, getting ready. If you want some pits, I had a Rob. I forget what his business was called. So she'll get mad at me for not telling. Um, no. Okay. So, uh, good news. I thought that was good news, right? Yep. Well done, California. I mean, well not done. much. Take your hat off to California. And again, a- don't, don't, if, unless you want to be a psycho turd bucket, don't go to California. I, why? why? Why people still live there and do things there? And like, I need to reach out to Monty. Is he on basalt? Yes. Like yes. in the <laughs> in in the dunes? <laughs> He's still there. Like yes. Monty, if you hear this, I miss you. Just reach out. Are you alive? Are you okay? <laughs> Is it okay, Monty? Is it okay? Uh it's <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't. It's I, so I could move to California, smoke dope, say that someone gave it to me under with just no. without me wanting it. Yeah, and I could kill no. someone. You could, you could do those things. Do you think you would get two two years of probation? No, well, I have a wiener, so I'd probably get the electric chair. They'd probably See, bring that just there back. There you go. See there you go. That's- or I could identify as a. Gender fluid. May, could you commit to that? Could no. you honestly commit to that? Look at the camera right now. Commit to what? Gender fluid or killing someone? Are you gender fluid? No. Uh, let's just pretend this. Raise your right hand. Put your left hand on the Bible, however that works. Put your left hand on the other way. Yes. All right. Uh, you solemnly tell this the is my left hand. No. Where to hold? I don't remember how it goes. Um, it, all those good things. Promise to tell the truth. You say. I do. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're not getting married. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for sicker or for poor. For sicker or poor. It's ridiculous, May. Yeah. That's wild. I hate California. I'll ever. Don't have any plans of ever visiting or going. May, are you gender fluid? Am I who? Are you gender fluid? I'm a male. <laughs> There's the show intro right there. It's, I'm a male. That's a, remind me to clip that. What do you I think? You hit V or B. It's one of those. There it is. B marker. There you are. Uh, hey. Um, I mean, the only fluid I have out of my gender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Um, okay. So interesting story. Uh, why do you, do you think they're going after weed on purpose all of a sudden? Yeah, I mean, I've never. How many stories have come take, out? Can we just take this argument for weed? Uh, this is the first like ever I think weed has ever been used as an excuse for killing someone. True. Yep. Am I wrong? No. Now I don't know the medical details of this woman. We don't know what med she was on before this, you know. But it is. Uh, is it because if you blame weed, nobody else can get sued? Is that what this is? Like, is what it, do you mean? Like, Why I can mean, no one else get sued? Hey, you know, let's sue weed. You know, we're setting a precedent here. You're selling psychotic weed. Uh, what dispensary should you get it from? We'll sue them. Well, you know, is there a, I'm sure there's got to be a weed industry, right? Can you go after them like the tobacco farms? I'm, I, I'm, I'm curious, you know, like, I don't yeah, know. I don't know. I, I feel like there is ties to something like that. So, you know, it'd be interesting to find out about this woman if she is on meds. It's in L.A., bro. You know, so uh, we know we know that was Jolly West's stomping grounds. And uh, what was that? Uh, the Elsa. I remember the Elsa chick for the hotel. Anyway, it's, you know, we should do a little more research on it because I it, how how does she get? Such a light sentence. I don't know. I mean, California uh, loves criminals in the street. So, shout out to Jude. What up, buddy? You should not listen to this. Go to bed. This is not. This is, not, this is an adult show. <laughs> but we still want to say hi because we wanted to shout out, and we're cool enough uh, to do that. Okay, I got uh, we got uh, some other stuff here. 
that you would like. Um, hmm, which one is it? Um, oh, here. Parliament videos, bud. Oh, uh, yeah. This is, uh, yeah, this stuff's great. We'll just listen to a little bit of it. Because, uh, of course, there'll be an ad. But it's an ad for uh, StreamYard, which is certain to use. So thank you, StreamYard. All right, here we go. Right? This is, all right, timid. Timid. This is kind of how I pictured it all, just loving life and just giggles. Oh, my God. Close your mouth, lady. Stand up. All right. No, that's a good question, eh? Look at this guy. What a slaze bag. I don't know. I feel like his papa would be proud of him. Don't you? When's he going to lose power? When is Canada going to go realize that he's a giant piece of shit? Um, you should uh, Google up when the next uh, election when the next election is. And uh, I'll lose... Uh, I am going to play for you guys ones where they're uh, yelling because those are way more fun. I hate it when they're, you know, this is what I wish our Congress would do. Let's see if this is a. Oh, how dare she? She used the word fart. And... <laughs> Here the guys. Yeah. Turn it up a little. I can't hear it. I just gave an impassioned speech that's about supporting Alberta jobs, and that's what the leader of a political party stands up and has to say. No, I don't withdraw it. Yeah. Go yeah. here. Remember for yeah. Senate Gulf Islands. I have a lot to say about the content of my friend's speech. I am deeply concerned, as are all people in this place, for Canadians who are hurting from economic. I don't know if you caught it. She said the word fart. Word fart. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, so she said the word fart, and then this lady in blue right here stood up and said the person saying the speech because they're talking to someone else, not to each other. They can't talk to each other. They can only talk to... So they talk to the Speaker of the House, and they say, this person said something that offended me, and it was... I'll spell it out because I don't want to say it out loud. F-A-R-T. This is can This is Canada. Parliament. <laughs> You know, and this is what they're arguing about. This is from a few years ago, but it's, it's gotten it's got even worse, dude. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's, it's fun. Yeah, go, you know, follow it sometimes. I wish Congress would yell at each other. I think, but I think it also shows how they're both on the same side because, yeah. uh, you know, it's a show. That's honestly what that shows you. It's a big old, big old show. Sitcom. Sitcom. Yeah, just a big old sitcom. Yeah, it is. Meanwhile, there's other shit going on. You know, a lot of a lot of other big shit. All right. Uh, I know I said I'd keep this short, May, and uh, I want to promise to uh, do that for you. But I do have a. Uh, I do have a. First of all, did you want to see what this uh, girl looked like that stabbed her boyfriend a hundred times? Yeah, I mean, I saw the steel shot of her. Yeah, let's see, hot or not, all right? Here we go. Okay. Ooh, the game hot or not? Hot or not? Boom. Mm -hmm. Boom. All right. Closing it yeah. out. Yeah. Smash. <laughs> oh, hot or not? Hot. Yeah, in a psycho killer stabby <laughs> way. Uh, I. Do you do fishing or anything like that, May? No, but my uh, four-year-old told me that she would like to get into fishing, so we're gonna we're gonna try to go fishing. Okay, so here's what's uh, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna share. Uh, I think like every um, every um, Tuesday when we do uh, topical Tuesdays on its normal normally scheduled day on Tuesdays, uh, we should try to find a YouTube creator that we like following. 
and give them a shout out and just show like an example of why we think uh, they're legit. You know what I mean? So okay. I've got I've got my guy, right? And I'm you know I'll start it off because I know uh, you know I'm springing this on you, but ovens, ovens, Rocky Mountain bushcraft. This oh. guy makes all sorts of cool little traps uh, by hand using just rope and and sticks and stones, and like just has a bunch of crazy different inventions. I'm going to show you one all right it's an ice fishing trap and it's the coolest thing i've ever seen like i am i'm am totally doing this at one point in time um overkill maybe i don't care i'm gonna do it all right can you see this all right yep all right here we go this guy he uh you know he had to make a few adjustments right but now here's here's the final creation he's created it basically i figured out the problem is this rough bark. I'm going to have to where the runners are. Right. Yep. Get some of the bark off because it prevents it from rolling. All right, so you like to frame it up. There it goes. But he got hooked. Oh. Oh, he's in the trough. <laughs> so what he did is he. That's he made fascinating. This little, made this little snap. Got a spike on the end of it. Or not a spike, but you know, this little thing. Is it up there? Oh, yeah, let me. There you go. It's like the original jaw jumper. Yeah. And then you put the log up there and it throws the fish on the ground for you. Fish. So here a you fraction of a second before it pulls the wedges. I got to tie another line onto this to the fish. He's got fish here. Oh, threw the fish way over in the bush. <laughs> it threw the right, fish way check over this there. Guy out. But it is a uh, bushcraft survival traps for catching fish in small game, which is absolutely, absolutely. That was top notch. Right? That's, that's, yeah. I would watch that for hours. He made lobby. Make a little lobby. meth. Make a little fish trap. Why do you get to he, I, God damn it! He just lives off the land. He's not doing. He math. does. You're right. Yeah, you're I right. I mean, they're both living off the land, but different ways. Different ways they're living off the land. That was great. That was really like, it amazes me when people go out there and they're like, you know what? Fuck it. All I need is a piece of a stick, some wax. Yeah. You're right, Lobo Fish. You're right. Like it. Trudeau is Castro's son. No, I'm telling you, that'd be it's legit. And then it threw the fish right on the ground, you know, and then you just go back there, roll the log back up, reset your trap, and boom. You're off to the races again. Anyway, trying it. I, I might not be able to get to it this year, but I'm I will get to it next year and we'll post videos of it. Probably get really? arrested for cutting down trees or something stupid. It's Just stupid. go deep in the woods of South mm. Dakota. Deep. <laughs> I, I can have, do it. You gotta drive like nine hours for that. Ugh, okay, duh. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat. This is not a test. This is our final take of all of the test. If exposed, we're nearly capable of. Yeah. 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 Yeah